Boom! Hey there, everybody! It's your camel here playing Surviving Mars again! It's been a long time that I've played this game, and um, yeah, boom, as the music uh, goes lower again. Yeah, Surviving Mars released a DLC, and I have to admit, I, I haven't been really into it uh, at all in, in the last couple of weeks, but this Surviving Mars Green Planet DLC really got me hyped uh, for a second. When I saw this on Corrales' channel, I was like, whoa, 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 wait a second. Exactly this was what I was missing from the game. And, uh, you know, to make this a bit more exciting for you guys, I'm not going to have, like, the full playthrough with every single second uh, me stopping for whatever we do so I'm always cutting the video now a little bit so that we jump further into the game if you really want to play the game and you're really into it uh, this weekend is a free trial weekend where you can play the game for free and then also get a discount on it um, I'll include a link down below in the description I just saw that and big thanks to Fane who was uh, hinting that uh, to us in, in the discord so yeah without further ado let's jump in Great, so we were in the game, and as you have seen, uh, as, you can, as you can see, the mission, the mission, oh god, what, what's going on today? The mission sponsor is the Terraforming Initiative, and the commander profile is Rocket Scientist. As you can see, there's a whole lot more going on in the hub uh, down here, and uh, this is what we have to change to make sure that we can make stuff growable on the Mars, and I have absolutely no clue how this is gonna work, so watch me failing in the game. That that's gonna be a lot of fun. Good, close. So first problem is already, um, where do we put our rocket, right? Uh, wait a second, I, I, did I choose this already? No, I didn't. So, um, can I also choose another one? Um, or do I have to explore them now? So wait a second, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this. Um, I think I wanna start down here. What, do I wanna start down here? What is, if I click here? Okay, it's scanning, so... Um, let's do the scanning over here. Great. So there's basically nothing we can really use in here, right? Um, I don't know. Can I land in another sector as well? I don't know. I just, I just put this one. What is this, by the way? Unexplored area. Okay. There we got iron. Um, so we can rotate that one with R. Okay, great. Let's put our rocket ship here. And then let's see what is going to happen. So the good thing is this seems to be also a deposit of some kind here, so yeah, I don't know. This is also seeming a, a kind of a deposit. The good thing is we now have um, iron directly around us, so that's great. Um, so what's going on? Terraforming introduction. Uh, you know what, I'm gonna read that later. Um, for the moment, I just okay. Sector scanned. We have some iron here. We have some concrete, which is awesome. So what do we need to build first of all? I think. Or the drone hub is controlled and allocates them to different tasks. I guess that's great to, to have this one. Um, but do we need energy first? I think it, it would be nice to first of all have a energy station, right? Like let's put energy down. So solar panel. Mm, is this gonna produce? This is gonna produce two energy by maintenance cost of zero iron. Um, this has three and one produces five seems to be better and this one is okay we don't have these parts available yet so I don't want to do this first of all but I think we can put them down here um, oh wait okay that, that was the wrong button so I need to put this down again and rotating was like R really right okay so let's do this and this, I know that we need a lot of energy, so let's put them here and then hope that our little guys are doing the work for us. And yeah, let's uh, see what they can do about this. Good, so as we've now set up the energy production, we should be able to move uh, slowly forward. We've already put down this drone over here, uh, a dome. We have a lot of drones actually. Um, four units have been selected, so why are you able to build this? Would you be so kind to, to kind of build this? Or are you just going to drive over here? Uh, or is this the next task you're gonna do? I don't know, just, just come over and build for me please. So we have the um, concrete excavator now running. We've also this slow, sorry. Uh, we have also this little depot going on over here, um, which is qu filling quite nicely. Um, by the way, I had to de disable the hut uh, over here 
because uh, it seems that the new version of the game has this uh, anyways so this is a lot better than what the old version had and I had a custom mod installed I remember this now um, that was actually doing uh, basically what the game has now naturally integrated which is awesome um, this is kind of the way paradox works and also worked with city skylands and I love that they do this also with surviving mass so I have high hopes that this will be a great game eventually and yeah it's it's moving into the right direction it feels a lot better already uh, with a few things that do and as you can see I have uh, brought another rocket that is traveling already uh, to our little settlement over here um, because we will need some more stuff uh, for example I can't research all these things over here because we do not have an explorer and we do need an explorer since we can't produce this one ourselves um, this is uh, why I needed to send this over to here um, but for the moment we're just hoping that our drones uh, keep doing stuff why are you not building would you be able to build this first and, and why are they not building at all? Like there's so much to do guys. There's so much to do. For example, what about this building? They're missing on concrete parts, are they? Yeah. Okay, so I believe what we should do is we should... Oops, I was make a map overview. Um, maybe we should build another uh, production... Uh, is this the concrete excavator? Yes. Can we place another one somewhere here? Maybe like so not really is this the only one i can put down okay maybe i should just can i uh, there we go that's what i wanted to do maybe i can put down a, a one uh, oh gosh again the wrong thing so maybe i am able to put this down now it should be like so somehow blocking objects that's the spaceship and what's the next blocking object now is it hmm requires a deposit okay that was maybe not too clever to put it there so we only have this one <sighs> but this is not in reach is it oh it is in reach actually so we should put it there then okay concrete excavator and we should definitely put this now a bit further back so maybe we can have two of them let me just check now yes that's a lot better so we have two of them and now let's connect them with the cable we should be able to yeah just connect it like that and then we connect the whole stuff basically like that that's that's fine and we should also put a deposit over here already right uh, because they don't need to move that far so oops this is a large dumping site a small one we can actually put the large one here and then we put the depot which is then a concrete depot right in the middle here great that's awesome <clears throat> and as soon as we possible uh, possibly can we will build another drone station over here so that they don't need to move that far by the way, I, I totally missed out on the fact that these cables are not white. It's just a cover over them. I don't really remember. Have they been white all the time? I mean, because from the image, let me just check. They appear to be black or like at least darkish. Is it just the sun? Um, because as I, as, you know, this is kind of the connector where the cables are obviously black below. Is it to not heat them up too much? Which makes no sense at all because it's pretty damn cold here as we can see. Um, I don't know. It is a bit weird. It's a bit weird. I have to admit. I am a bit confused. Anyways, that's just what, what I was just uh, seeing when I was uh, scrolling around. Awesome, so now we can set up our own water production finally. I, I don't know, it was just, it was just so dumb uh, to, to think that, you know, this uh, would have worked without. I was just too, you know, I, did, I don't know why I didn't put the drone hub here. It was so obvious that I needed to put the storages in between so that the drones uh, can, can bring stuff over. Anyways, our second um, uh, ship has arrived. I'm, I'm still not too sure where to put it, actually, but... Um, yeah, I feel like I want to put it here anyways. Um, I can't really, okay, I can't really keep it landing here. So I want to bring it down here. By the way, we should be se uh, checking more sectors now. Um, well, actually they're all in the queue, uh, okay. So, 
Once we've just done, done this, great. So now the good thing is we have the RC commander, which is awesome. We have the explorer and he can now go and explore this area, which is awesome because this is what we were missing for quite a while. Now, the next bit I want to do is since we have a cable connection over here, I want to bring this over here as well uh, to make sure that we can all manually store and uh, restore the energy level of our um, yeah cars and stuff. So. Well, let's bring this over here. Can I just quickly connect this? Thank you. So that would be awesome. And now let's also put another recharge station, which is, I believe, where was it? Uh, let's put the recharge station here. Not enough power. Are we running out of power? No, we are not yet running out of power. Wait, why are they not connected? Oh wait, because actually this building has not been built and this building, uh, these two buildings haven't been built yet. Um, they're waiting for concrete. Great. So uh, the problem being is that our concrete production is, oops, I'm all still used to, it's basically over here and they're missing out on metals. Um, you know what? We have our drone commander. Is this the RC commander? Yeah. You know what? You might, uh, might just come over here. That's awesome. So what did he discover? Um, okay, what, what did we discover? Anomaly analyzed, gained 100. Oh, that's awesome. We can put this now into research. But um, he's going to, first of all, uh, check what that is. And we also have the transport. We don't need the transport yet, but I'm, I'm quite... Uh, okay, can we basically relocate them? Assigned to command center. Yo, that's what that's what we want to do. That's awesome. So we have more of these drones roaming around. Um, now we are going to build the new concrete uh, excavator, which is awesome. And I believe what we should do as well to make sure that these um, little drones can deal a bit better with these stations. We definitely need to make sure that we have some universal storages in between so that they can carry around the stuff. I believe this is now quite of uh, important, uh, quite important, uh, quite of importance. That's what I wanted to say. Is it of importance? I guess so. And we're going to put this here and here. New text available for research. Great. That's awesome. So now let's go first of all into our research tree. Um, there's a little bit missing, but what is that? It does a rover. Um, we do have one, but it can never be bad to not research it. Great. And then we have next up could be the Explorer AI. Yeah, why not? Okay. But uh, how much does the Explorer still have in terms of energy level? Um, where do I see this, by the way? I want to see your energy level. He might be reloading now, right? Where will we where see? Didn't they have an energy level? I don't know. So go and find this an anomaly I guess would be the best thing and then we have another quest thing over here which is also great to uh, look for and then we're gonna see what this is like uh, I, I am really really looking forward to move on and make this whole area green down here but I think I'm quite far away from being into in the position to do so but you know what uh, with time, we will be able to do so. So they still don't have any concrete, don't they? No. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to get some concrete over here. Are these only metal deposits? No, these are concrete deposits, aren't they? Um, hmm, well, I, I still bring him over. Okay, great. Now, as we are moving forward, there is a meteor showering, uh, shower incoming. Let's see where this meteor shower is going to... Uh, okay, yeah, okay, and where exactly? Uh, two souls, six hour warning due to four sensor towers. Uh, okay, and there was a way to see where they will be, but is this still a thing? Can I, yeah, okay, okay, okay. I understood, but can I just see where those uh, meteor showers are coming in? Because, you know, two buildings are not working. Which which two buildings are not working? Are those two? Can I close them for the time being? Because I, I just built them. What is that? Turn off. Okay. Has been turned off and has been turned off. And can we turn them off as well? Yeah, because there's like no one living in here right now. I just prepared already the dome with a little bit of building. So you can see we also have uh, all this kind of stuff uh, prepared now. Uh, water is already being stored here. I don't even know if this is already too much. How much water is? Okay, they're pretty much full, uh, which is, uh, yeah. 
Okay, we shouldn't have this. Uh, we should definitely have then more storage for water. And the more we have, the better it is. And uh, I think I'm willing to put this right here then. And just put these exactly in here. So we have a lot of water stored. Um, because otherwise that would kind of... M doesn't make any sense to, to just wait for it. Um, by the way, are we producing any fuel? If so, where is the fuel going? Um, stored fuel, lifetime production, 22.1 units. Are they refueling the ship or are they refueling this ship? Or are they refueling this ship? That's awesome. That's exactly what I wanted. Um, we are also running a little bit of our energy because um, the power demand is getting crazier and crazier. And as you can see, um, we still need to make sure that the batteries are filled. The problem being is we can't really build too much. Oops, I didn't want to do that. We still have a lot of research going on. But problem being is we can't build more batteries because they will consume uh, polymers. Actually, we have a bit more of polymers right now. So maybe we build one more of these batteries to make sure that we survive the nights. Um, <laughs> maybe two-ish more? I don't know. Yeah, you know what? We need them. So let's put them two down. I don't know. We're gonna get a meteor shower in one soul and t t 23 hours, which is, uh, yeah, in, in a bit of time. So let's increase the time a bit. So new texts are available for research. Let's see what that. Okay. Effect. The following texts have been revealed on the search. Autonomous sensors, uh, subsurface heating. That's great. Um, but we can't research that right now, right? And this gives, okay, hmm. yeah, we need that later. Sensor towers, reliable data instrument, experiment. Oh, we don't really need that. Blah, uh, blah, 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 blah. I think we, we have kind of good research at the moment. We don't really need to spend too much of an eye to the other stuff. Uh, so energy, how much is stored? Uh, oops, oops, we are really running out of energy. Um, and I don't want to build too many of those because they are consuming these... Um, mechanical parts or machine parts I should say and do they cost machine parts by the way yeah one see that's that's the real issue about this piece they do produce nice energy but yeah low resource energy yeah I know but we hopefully will be able to um, get more done so are there no more I don't know we should also build this cable already are we also low on metals? We are kinda ish low on metals. I sent out my rover to gather metal, that's great. So please bring that over here. Um, wait. You might be able to bring this here. And you're gonna unload all because you only have metal. So please don't tell me you don't need this. So many drones are kind of not doing anything. Um, why are that they they not building this? Well, what is missing again? Metals. Okay, we sh we surely have to look into metals. Um, always the same issue with uh, surviving mass. I'm low on metals, but we should be kind of high on metals. Wait, why are you not unloading your stuff, please? Could you please unload all? No, you you should unload all, please. Um. Okay, <laughs> for whatever reason he did store that on it. Okay, never mind. Just bring that all. Thank you. And now you can go and gather this reason. What was low metal? Yeah, I know. This is why I'm just working on it. Sorry. One soul and three hours until the meteor shower. Oh god. Okay, the media shower is basically destroying everything right now. Uh, as you can see, <laughs> it just hit completely our cable over here. It hit our metal excavator. No, it's a concrete excavator. This one has been hit as well. Has been, has to be maintained as well. We are completely out of uh, energy over here because this cable is destroyed. Maybe we should then also build a second connection just for the next time. I think this was just a hint to me being... Ah, okay, we can't. Well... You know what we just should go this way up here and there we go makes sense because this is nearly refueled so we can bring this back um, is this having any drones eight drones commanded by rocket ship okay Research can I just complete. okay if I'm ever moving away these drones shouldn't then be okay anyways is the media did, did, did we survive the media shower I don't know 
Split power grids, yeah, I know. Can you please repair that and fix that? I don't know. That would be awesome if you could have your priority on fixing this issue. Come on, quickly, do it. Can't they do it? What are we missing on? Is this metal parts we need for it? I don't know. I don't know. I'll have to look into it. So you can also gather more materials here. How much metal does he... Just one? Oh, come on. Are you kidding? Two. How much is in here? 20. That's kind of nice. So how much can you... F I think you can load 30. That's great. Okay, 30 is, 30 is really good. And is this somewhere? Can we make this smaller? That's like gigantic over here. Okay, so now as we have been approaching a bit more of uh, the next step, I've been having my first Martians here in the dome. As you can see, they are spending some lovely time in the space bar and they are also having uh, a lovely time here on Mars. They are working in these farms over here. As you can see, they are, I don't know, picking up the rice. I don't know if it's in rice. Anyhow, uh, we have been ordering some resupplies over here since we ran out of a lot of uh, things. And I'm just putting them down. I try and take it over here, okay? What, what is about her? What's, what's with her? Okay, well, did, did I click her? Oh, I, I, I'm a bit confused why though. Um, we can definitely also dismantle these things so that we get the resources out of it. We are definitely having uh, some some issues here in terms of yeah everything I guess <laughs> uh, is pretty much what you need to say. Um, so we have the RC commander and I want to settle down here and this is why I'm driving over here and hopefully can put my drone hub here. Uh, it's a little bit of an issue because we don't have any any things there but I hope that I'll be able to build it because of you know the prefab parts I have been bringing with them so we should be able to build one here too far from working drone commander but it wasn't that drone commander that's an RC commander okay so is that not a drone commander I guess might be the thing I don't know Oh yeah, that's it, that's it, we can do it. Great, um, so how can we cover this entire region? I think that's it. And then we need to, yeah, pff, I don't know, resources are low, yeah, that's why I'm going here. And uh, now, as we've built this, we need to build a cable connection. This is what we still want to do in this episode. And then I definitely have to call it a day here for today's uh, episode of Surviving Mars. So we do have to go here. Okay, this this is uh, yeah, yeah yeah, but I I still can at least tell them to build this. So let me just bring the whole thing to work. Great. So what I'm willing to build anyways is um yeah well I can't really build this right because we I do have to bring some some stuff here. Oh god, okay, this will be this will be pretty interesting how we're gonna do this. Oh, I know how we're gonna do this. We are going to bring this guy with us and then we should be able to command this all up here. Let me just do this like that. And I'll see you when it's done. Okay, so yeah, the cable has been built. Uh, it's a little bit of a struggle, but we managed to do this. Um, shifting some resources from A to B, but yeah. So now uh, this big baby over here can be built. So we have to bring some polymers over, um, what will be done later. But since the auto saving is kicking in, I am calling this a day. I'm, I'm, I'm playing a little bit further for the next episode and I hope you guys enjoy. I'm not willing to make this a long series, so like two or three episodes uh, until we are finally able to make this planet green and see how this turns into a new area. But you know what? I just feel like it was the right decision to play Surviving Mars again. And yeah, it's been a pleasure and I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. Um, hoping to see you in the next episode as well. Until then, have a great evening, great day, whatever. And yeah. Bye-bye, guys.